Hello everybody and welcome to a little bit of a guide sort of video for uh, the Forge. So this is a beta right now, it's currently in beta, uh, update for Don't Starve Together. And um, it was kind of came up as a surprise, there wasn't too much pushing before that. Uh, but heck, it's a lot of fun and so it's, it's free to get into right now. The beta goes on until the 30th of October and then in a little while it goes out into a more open beta. It's not closed necessarily, it's just a short time as they're kind of patching some stuff up. So what you're going to see here is you're going to see me playing as a spider dude. Uh, basically, I'm a ranged dart based character. Uh, DPS primarily, a little bit tanky. And uh, you missed the first couple rounds, but the first couple rounds are really, really simple ads that you just kind of AOE slash DPS down. And... Um, what this video is going to get us into is this video is going to actually show you guys how to beat the first series of the Barilla kind of guy. He's a he's a he's a gorilla plus a boar together, and they're brutal. Uh, but but I'm actually showing you guys this at two times because the whole video would have been 30 minutes long if I just played it all the way through. And really, I don't think this is the part you're really interested in. I think you really want to see the big major bosses at the end. We do get to the final boss in this video. Uh, we do not beat him. Uh, I, I wish that we that we did. I have yet to have heard or found anybody who has beaten them, uh, the final boss, but uh, we did pretty okay and we got kind of close. Um, but I'm going to give you guys the best opportunity that I can here to kind of explain what it is that we're doing and how it is that we're defeating these guys. So these guys, these kind of like armored, armor, ah, armored turtle, turtles, turtles, tortoises, whatever the word is for it, um, they're, they're a pain in the butt. In fact, I kind of find this little round to be one of the hardest of the rounds that we have um, in the game so far. Basically because they do this Beyblade thing where they just spin around, they're immune, they're like that right there. They're immune to attacks and uh, when they damage you they cause you to kind of freeze and you have to try to dodge them and as you can see it, it's not particularly easy and I did a very very poor job at doing that. So, um, but generally speaking, when you're facing these guys, you want to make sure that you're using your, your CC effectively. CC means crowd control, if you didn't know that. And basically, what I mean by this is that certain things actually make them, um, easier to handle. At least easier to kind of handle a couple at a time. One thing I'd mention is that when, it, when they hit a heal section, your healing zone, they actually go to sleep. And this is with all mobs. They'll actually go to sleep when it is that you're, uh, when they run over your healing zone. Which is very, very, very important to know because it allows you to kind of manage them a couple at a time. And that's really what you want to do is you want to manage a couple at a time. Here you see that I'm pretty low on health. So I'm kind of backing off for a second until, until we can get everything kind of situated. Here I'm kind of doing a little bit of shot calling. I'm saying uh, keep one alive until we can heal. So there's no real reason to kind of be aggressive with it. And uh, I just want to make sure that we're like getting uh, full health going before we just go ahead and... Uh, and get into the next one because you don't want to end up getting so far behind that uh, that that you're unable to uh, to kind of catch up with the healing. So at this point, we're all pretty much full. There's gonna be some time after this round too to heal up, but I didn't want anybody to be, uh, especially our tanks, to be low and uh, and not able to kind of keep up with everything. So right now. What we're doing right here is is we're kind of deciding who it is that's going to be our runner. A well, runner is going to be very important when you're facing Barilla, and you'll see why that is in uh, just a little while. But for now, we're just kind of like dictating to each other. All right, uh, let's take this for now. Let's take that for now. So basically, our future runner who's playing Wilson, uh, you can see him right there in the bottom right hand side right now. He's got a fiery death staff, which is pretty good. Does a lot of damage, and that's why we had him pick it up for now. But later on, we're gonna have him switch that staff with our CC person who is playing as Wicker. And uh, when Wicker picks up that staff, she'll be able to do more damage against the Borilla instead of having a fairly useless, um, the, uh, the Petrifying Tome is fairly useless against the Borilla. So uh, we're just kind of dancing as we kind of wait for this next group to come up. As you see, we have full health. These guys, these guys are brutal because these guys have poison. And when they group up on you, they can poison a whole lot of people very, very quickly. And the poison does, if you have, like, no protection, if you're, like, a squishy character, like a healer, or the, the CC kind of person, you will take an extreme amount of damage from these guys. An extreme amount of damage from their poison can half, half health you if you get caught. Now, when you're ranged, it's pretty easy to deal with these guys. They're not that hard to do. And uh, to give you a little bit extra of a tip, 
For this, I actually bind my attack button to my uh, my mouse. I have I have my mouse has some available key bindings, so this way I can just kind of back up and just spam my mouse button that is the attack, and it just hits anybody who's within range. Here you see that I get attacked. I was on full health. I get hit by the poison. You can, and I have some protection gear on actually, and you can see that I'm at half health already. So it's it's uh it's painful. Two hits, three hits by the poison, and you're basically dead. Now I don't. Uh, I've seen people stop with the poison on like one health before. You'll see it happen here basically, but uh, I'm pretty sure that 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 it, it can kill you off the poison. So you got to be careful. And uh, I got a little bit lucky there. I still had the poison, so it I, it doesn't seem to refresh the duration of poison, but it is pretty dangerous. Here we have no has uh, has gone down, and you can see them in the top right hand corner right now. Uh, and there are there are runners. So we have our healer here now. Look look how they all go to sleep, right? They all go to sleep when they get into that heal zone, and that's very important to keep in mind. That's why you have to sometimes let them sleep so you're not dealing with all those guys at once. Um, so here I am, I'm just going to kind of keep putting DPS down. That is my job basically, is just a DPS down. It's best if you can focus somebody, but it's really hard to focus in this particular round because your, your, um, your melee DPS guys don't do a lot of damage here, and for a good reason. They get destroyed by the poison. The only time that they can really be doing damage is when you have people grouped up on the heals like we have right there. Otherwise, they get double poison, triple poison. Not that it stacks, but they keep getting poison and they just drop down like flies. There you go. You saw one of our guys, Icy Harpoon, um, who was WX, just, uh, just you know, died right there. But now you see those little stoned guys right over there? The, um, they're, they're the scorpions, but they've been turned into stone. What happens with them is our wicker has the petrifying tome still, and that's what I was talking about when I was saying CC. And CC is very, very important in this game. So instead of fighting, you know, ten of them at the same time, you CC a couple of them, and then you try to go ahead and uh, like we have right there, and then you don't have to worry about them so much, and um, you face less at a time. So Popper's Hand was killed, so we're gonna res them. Icy Harpoon, for whatever reason, was just sitting there tank face tanking, so here we're going to sit over here and see. So we used the CC to go ahead and stun that person. Uh, our our uh, runner has rezzed back WX, and um, so and we're just going to kite it a little bit, because right now we have basically unlimited kites, and we're just trying to get our, our health up um, so that we don't have to worry about it. Now, cooldown exists. It's like, yeah, I know, I know. I wasn't trying to say, like, now. I was just saying, like, let's get this done sooner rather than later. Unfortunately, nobody was paying much attention there, and everybody got hit by the poison, so we're all but down to half, well, except for me, we're all down to half health anyway, but that's okay. The point is just, when you can, you try to keep your, your health up, because as you can see, they've already respawned now with the next wave, so if we had already had full health, we'd be starting this wave at full health instead of with Icy and Papa Xander already missing some health, so... Now I say Wick Staff, but actually Wick is okay to, to or, or whoever your CC person is, is okay to keep the book for now. And just kind of, um, the staff's right there. But right now she's probably still good to keep the Petrifying Tome. So she, you can see that she's actually um, going to be freezing people down there for us. Now if you look at the top right hand corner, you see that No is actually tanking the Barilla. This is very important. This is the Barilla fight, guys. And if you've played this game so far and you've gotten to this part, you know that the Brilla fight hurts like heck. That dude is ridiculous. But if you have one of your guys, I suggest a ranged person go with full movement speed. There's a movement speed helm and there's also a movement speed shirt. They can actually outrun the boar, the Barilla, and tank them in that way. While the rest of us worry about taking down the ads. And that's what we're doing right here. We're just doing a little bit of zigzagging right there to try to keep from being hit by this guy. Uh, the as he's in his shell, and uh, if I was to suggest, for this round, if I was to suggest one person to kind of help you to kill first, I would suggest going for the Scorpions first, and right now, uh, we're no longer in double speed, we're in regular speed now, because the Brilla is the fight that I think you guys are probably most interested in. Now, our Wix has been knocked down, Papa Xander is down, and I'm going to sneak in here and try to get this done, but for some reason, our healer decides to basically kite them over me, and um, <laughs> and because I was going to get attacked right there, I had to back off. And here it is. I'm trying again to raise up. But um, you do pull aggro sometimes when you are uh, when, when you go ahead and um, 
start healing somebody. So there does appear to be a pretty intelligent AI that knows, all right, you're doing something important and I need to stop that. Now you still see that that uh, uh, No, who is what we call a runner, is still cutting the Barella. We finished off another one of the turtles. We have one more scorpion and one more turtle to go. Just trying to put down the AOE. Um, our healer is still doing their healing stuff, which is great. Papa Xander is dead again. Uh, but Papa Xander is being resurrected by Icy. So we're looking like we're in a pretty okay situation here. It could be better, um, but we're not looking like we're in a bad situation. Now, of course, Wick has now picked up the... Um, Wicker has picked up the, uh, the more damaging spell, and this is a good idea. Uh, because we're going to want the damaging spell now instead of the book. The book's really good for AoE and for uh, for kind of sieging or, or for controlling people, crowd control. But now we got to focus on healing up and taking out this guy. So this is when our tanks go in. And uh, I mean, tanks should probably sit on the health, truthfully, for as long as possible. But I mean, it's okay. They're in there now and they're just going to go ahead and beat up that guy from the front. And we're just kind of all the ranged are grouped together in the back. And we're just doing our thing back here. So... While our tanks tank, and our healer will put down heals as soon as they're up onto the tanks, we're just going to go ahead and continue to do damage to them. So, again, it's very important to keep in mind, guys, that your healing circle, as well as the petrifying tome, CCs the target. And you'll see us use that to different effects later on. Wow, what a fight. That's how you do it, guys. If you have a runner, um, that's the best way that you can go ahead and get yourself the kill um, for for this now I say other yeah WX take the armor because we want WX to be as tanky as possible This is where it gets crazy now. We had never this group and myself have never been past uh, This point before actually I was past this point once but we died very quickly now If you haven't seen what comes past after the first gorilla you have two gorillas and ads and then halfway through that fight You get to the final boss. It doesn't end. There's no stop at this point and to the final boss so, runner takes one, uh, we tank and kill the other. So that's the plan, is that the runner is going to go ahead and take one of the, the Brillas, and we're going to try to tank the other one. So, you see here, we're tanking this guy, well, our DPS is, our, our melee DPS is tanking these guys, and we're just kind of attacking him from afar, putting in as much damage as possible. Meanwhile, our runner, who is still Wilson, no, they're tanking the Barilla on the outside right now, keeping them away from us. Hopefully to stop there from being any change of aggro. So We do not want the other Barilla to run into the middle here and start messing with our, our healers or our DPS Because that's gonna cause some major damage basically One of the important things to keep in mind about this Okay, so at this point I, I, I'm telling and we don't do this quite properly in my opinion the, the right thing to do now Although I don't know because you've never won this one is I think the runner at this point should actually take both Barillas is my suggestion. Now I'm trying to take I'm trying to take this Barilla off of our healer because our healer is way more important than I am, right? To keep alive. Um, because our healer is going to be in charge of keeping everybody else alive. So right now we have one Barilla is stunned in sleep mode because they ran into the health and the other one is uh, is fighting us right there. So and it's currently on one of our tanks, which is okay. It's better than not being on a tank. We still kind of want we're not doing this great because the runner, in my opinion, really should be taking one and we should be taking the other one. The runner's trying to pick up the aggro on the one uh, guy on the top left, but um, our melee was just continuing to attack him. But the run, anytime you can kind of distract one while you focus the other one is great. So at this point, we're like, we're excited. We defeated one out of the two and we're thinking, we can do this. We can do this. All right. They spawn some more ads. Not a problem. In theory, at this point, the runner takes the, the gorilla, and uh, we focus down the ads. And uh, perfect, right? Focus little is what I say, and that's my way of trying to uh, tell him to, to do that. Now, you'll notice that, that no got jumped on. At this point now, all of a sudden, the barillas can jump attack. And this is dangerous. No just went down by the barilla. This is not something that I had been aware that was going to happen. Uh, so, no warns us. And we have to get No back up now as soon as we can. So here we have somebody, Wicker is running over there. Um, and that was our CC who's turned damage uh, to go ahead and take care of that. Now, I think that actually our Wicker should have gone back to the book at this point. So that we could focus down these adds more efficiently without taking so much damage. But um, this is what we have and this is what we're going to have to do. We've taken an unfortunate, our healer took an unfortunate poison right there. Now, it's not over yet, guys. It's not over yet. This is the part that I was not ready for. 
Nell goes down by the Barilla with the jump attack, and everybody suddenly wipes. It's not looking so good now. We have up the Barilla, and I'm trying desperately to kind of get anybody up that I can. It's me and Alpaca are the only ones left alive. Centurio is res. I got the res up on our runner, who I'm hoping can kind of take the Barilla off of us while we res everybody else. And we're trying desperately to get in here. God, it's going to be close. We get knocked off. We get knocked off right as we get the heal up. But unfortunately, it may not be enough now. Icy's har Harpoon's up. Noah's up. Papa Xander is up. Papa Xander, at this point, in my opinion, should have switched to the book again. And um, that way, we could hopefully take some of these ads off of us for a period of time while we rezzed everybody and got everybody back up and working. And I'm just about to get that up. Ah, I got it. I got it. I got hit by poison, but I did get the res. So we have our one of our tanks back up. Now, the Brilla is being tanked pro or be, is being ran, and then it turns on me and one shots my face. At this point, it's not looking too great. We have a runner still, but there's no way for us to distract them long enough to get our proper guys up. You really kind of need the book or the heels to be there in order to distract. There you have it, guys. That was a lot of talking for me. But uh, I, I don't know if you guys are really interested in this kind of stuff, but this this forge is a lot of fun. I'm very much enjoying it. If you happen to have been able to beat the, the final boss, tell me how to do it in the comment section down below. I'd like to hear from you guys. Um, but we gave it our best. We did a lot of damage. We did a lot of health restoration, but it wasn't good enough this time. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.